Hello everybody, DJ Aaron here, and you guys are looking at my <laughs> Windows uh, desktop. Anyways, if you guys see, it has a Windows XP sort of background and uh, a few Star Wars characters. You see the Death Star in the background, and then you see the uh, uh, Serial Walker, and then we have the uh, Stormtrooper down there. It's pretty slick. But anyways, you guys probably understand why I like Windows 10. And I believe the start menu has a lot to do with it. You know, with the, you know, the customizability of the start menu, you know, you could uh, add different programs, do different start menu stuff. You could, uh, uh put different tiles on here, etc. You know. Now, I can remove this Get Skype uh, tile if I wanted to, but uh, I don't want to <laughs> uh, right now. But anyways, I do like the clock, which is very awesome. I uh, do like the uh, notification system thing. Uh, kind of Mac OS like in a way, you know, like how uh, how Mac OS has its notification center and stuff like that. You know, it's pretty cool in that regards. Only, you know, if you were on a touch screen, you'd be able to swipe out, uh, etc. Since I don't have a touch screen. I don't have to swipe so that's pretty cool and then we have the sound uh, with the mixing volume we could bring up the system sounds those are turned all the way down there we go we could do the system sounds you know we have networks you could see which networks are connected if you uh, click on the list again you could see how many available networks are available etc and then we have the battery. Then we have your, uh, what you would call it. And my Skype seems to be set to away. <laughs> uh, that happens after I uh, uh, restart the uh, restart Skype. It always seems to happen. Let's see, online status. Let's go back to online. There we go. So that way we don't have to worry about seeing if it's away or not. Uh, task view, I love that because you can uh, see the different tasks. Now right now we have the uh, screen capture which is kind of great. It's kind of screwed up a little bit. You can see what you're doing. but etc. So I could go to my YouTube account and we can look at my subscriptions, etc. Looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty slick and sweet. Now we could add something else. Uh, let's see here. Let's do Firefox. Firefox is pretty cool. It works, you know, I'm not using it as a default web browser. I mean, it has the same uh, same bookmarks as uh, my Chrome, so I can use Firefox if I really want to. It just takes a few minutes. And of course, Facebook's not logged in. Being it's not my default web browser, so I'm just going to log into Facebook real quick here. So there we go. We have uh, Firefox up. So we could click on whatever thing I want, whether it be in Chrome or all that. I'm just going to right click and close out Firefox. So we close out Firefox. So I have Facebook and everything um, all in one tab, thingamabobber. And then we have my iVlog right here, 
which is uh, cool. But uh, the meat and the potatoes thing is right here. Your settings, you know. I think it's already looked for updates. Yeah, it checked for updates today at 3.53. So, um, anyways, another thing that I can do is use virtual DJ. Now, people say, oh, you can't use uh, older programs on this. Well, all your older programs should still work. You know, given if you're a DJ or any of that. This is a Virtual DJ 7. This is a, you know, this was created, I believe, this is version 7. This was created, uh, I think, last year or uh, 2013 maybe I don't know but uh, see this this also has a EULA uh, and privacy agreement as well so you know programs have that privacy thing as well um, also we also have Virtual DJ 8, which also works with Windows 10. So we're going to open that. And yes, because it needs to verify that it's already updated and stuff, etc. And there we go. We have Virtual DJ 8. We can uh, load songs in there like we normally do. So basically, we could uh, do whatever we want with it, I guess. <laughs> so this is exactly, you know, this is how exactly things are. You know, you do a, uh, you could do a license and user account etc um, see this is uh, version 8.0.0 build you know it goes and builds just like an operating system it's crazy and then we have you know 1999 to 2015 etc so pretty cool how they put the about at the top instead of trying to find uh, everything so yeah and then this is uh, this is where I do all my stuff here <laughs> so it's pretty uh, it's pretty cool so both my DJ programs do work as you guys can see since I use virtual DJ they're all able to work so it's able to work perfectly and all that so we can make sure it all works Because a lot of DJs are saying they're having issues with their software. And virtual DJ, I see it works. So, anyways, I'm going to do more videos on this version of the software. I've already done videos on uh, virtual DJ 7, which is the older version of the software, which is right here. So the only difference between the two is they have different interfaces. Um, you could do four decks in both of them. You could do six decks in both of them. Um, 
it is pretty cool. Now, the reason why I have both versions is they're more likely a backup. So I don't really have to worry about if one crashes, the other one's not going to work. So um, they're both going to work, and they're going to work properly. So I have two versions of Virtual DJ, and I use one of them as backup. So anyways... That is it for this video. Peace out, practice and enjoy, and we'll see you guys later.